What is going on YouTube? Uh, Black Bigelow, coolest YouTube channel in the world. Today I was actually gonna go in on China Mac, right? I was gonna go in on him, but you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I like China Mac. Uh, I like him, he's kind of like a nutcase like me, but I think he's like a dangerous nutcase. Um, so today I'm gonna reflect my efforts on to this pairing between Adam 22 and uh, 1090 Jake, uh, that's right. So apparently, not apparently, it looks like it's happening or it already happened. These guys have started this thing where they basically gossip. They'll pick a subject and they'll just gossip back and forth on Adam 22's channel, you know, remotely, you know, uh, 1090 uh, Jake is wherever he lives. And Adam 22 is in his studio or wherever he lives. And they just basically talk back and forth about male gossip. It's kind of like um, two high school girls just talking about things. And, you know, let me tell you something. When I want information or people's opinions about gang matters or gang culture, there is no place on YouTube I'd rather be that on a platform with a couple of white guys that have never lived a life. I love it. So, uh, so 1090 Krabby Cake Patty, he was talking, mentioning something about the uh, Sereno Southern Mexican gangbanger rap music down over there. And uh, he kind of uh, labeled everybody that's from California, like they're all Mexicans, which mostly they are Mexicans, but there's a lot of Central Americans and such like that. Now, they were talking about the Swifty Blue thing. Uh, if you guys don't know Swifty Blue, this weirdo right here, uh, he's actually a pretty good rapper. Um, he's a Mexican gangbanging rapper that acts like he's black, but he won't admit that he acts like he's black. And uh, this guy uh, is really only known online, not for his music, but he's more known for his stupid little antics and what he said about him never signing to a black-owned label as a Mexican artist, which is, you know really the stupidest thing uh, in the world but enough about that you know the, the, this video is not about what they said back and forth to each other um no first of all i want to say this uh to adam 22 uh, if you're watching i know you're a busy man i guess right what the hell do you do all day i have no idea so uh i'd like to have a job uh with you if possible um i'd like to uh, work uh with your podcast um uh, check this out. I'll work for free. You don't got to pay me nothing. Um, I'd like to come in every now and then and just kind of, you know, sit and, uh, you know, talk to whoever is on your channel. Uh, now, here's the thing. Um, you have a bunch of um, brown nosing, gang banging, you know, weirdos on your channel. Um, I, I see myself as the um, voice of uh, reason, like the conservative opinion on a channel full of ghetto deadbeats now i'm pretty sure these guys aren't deadbeats but i think they might probably be now i don't know if any of them are winners in life because if it wasn't for adam 22 um all those guys on your platform they would all either be on this on skid row or they would be in prison so adam 22 has you know saved quite a few lives on that channel and i don't know how in the hell he affords to pay all those people that work there. He must, uh, he must make very, very good money on YouTube. So anyways, uh, I'm asking for a job, you know, um, you could put me on whatever little, uh, podcasting, uh, I'll, I'll hang out with the, the other like degenerates and then we can kind of go back and forth. Um, now, you know, listen, before you introduce me to these guys, don't tell them what I really think about gangs. I think most of you guys are friggers, but I'll keep my opinions to myself, okay? Now, I'll never say such things in front of a real-life gangbanger, but for the most part, I, I mean, you know, there's, you know, there's nothing really cool about, you know, hanging around with a bunch of other guys and, and like your friends because you all like the same color. Doesn't that seem kind of enough about that? So let's get on to uh, 1090 Jake. You know what I was thinking to myself? You know, because this guy, he's interesting, right? This guy is interesting because he's played 
his character pretty well uh, on social media. You know what I mean? He's played his character pretty well. Um, he's played his character better than uh, than Milk uh, seventy four. Um, these are both white guys that basically play the character, right? Now, I don't know if they are really like that in real life. I have no idea. I am going to make one, and I mean this. This is this is no lie. I mean this. Trust me, in two years, I don't know when he's going to start, but in two years, 1090 Jake is going to be tired of being fat, like me, but he's actually going to do something about it, unlike me. In two years, I promise you, 1090 Jake is going to be like swole, like, like muscles. I promise you, he's going to do that. I don't know when he's going to do it, but he's getting too, uh, he's, you know, listen, Dude, you're a young guy. You want to lose weight while you can, man. You don't want to be like DJ Khalid or me right now. Like, dude, I'm 43. I'm so fat right now. Um, weight loss vlog adventure is coming up very, very soon. I think I weigh 260. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I am I personally think I'm fatter than 1090 Jake. I just don't look like that fat in my face because I don't have like a double chin or a gooseneck like him. But, uh, man, hey, Jake, man, hey, hey, Jake, hey, give me a call, bro. 972-765-8972. 972-765-8972. I ain't no I ain't looking out for no shout out or no cloud. I ain't looking for that bullshit. No, man. Dude, let's let's meet up in, in, in Boston. Is that how you pronounce it? Boston Kanya. Pak the Kanya. Let's meet up in Boston and, and let's work out together. Yeah. I'll chill out there. I mean, I won't stay in Boston. But uh, you know, I would be willing when the weather is, you know, better next year. To come out there and work out with you three, four days a week. Yeah. Am I being serious about that? Eh, I don't think so. Uh, anyways, but I think that this guy, because Lord knows he has enough money to hire a personal trainer. In two years, this guy, will he will turn from what he is now. You'll be looking like uh, Dr. Dre, you know, when he got all steroided up or whatever. Um yeah, that's, that's what I think. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, and by the way, uh, Jake, if you do call me, um, if we do meet up, bro, I really don't want to meet your, what's that weirdo looking friend of yours? Like, he's like one of those guys that you don't know what race he is. I think he carries the gun. Or he's like your, he's like your little bodyguard. Yeah, I don't want to meet that guy. I don't want to meet uh, your, your, you know, know me, the clown, little, little pint size, little weird looking. What is that guy? I don't want to know. I don't want. What is that the guy? The shooter? Is he your? Is he your uh, bag man? What do they ever call it? Can you imagine? Can you imagine being so known on YouTube that you really can't go anywhere without being recognized, and not in a great way either? Because you got to think, as known as he is, and as recognizable as he is with that tattoo on what used to be his neck, you got to think, man. Not I, you know. And again, I don't know his content. I don't know if he talks shit about people or more or less that he exposes them but you gotta understand or you would have to think anyways that somebody out there that he made a video about doesn't care for his accusations so i don't know just uh just my personal opinion about it they didn't really know what to talk about today so i just talked about that but uh what's this nigga rolling up on me